What's up everyone, it's Alisa here. One of the best heroes in Battlegrounds duos is Madame Goya. Even without bodies, Madame Goya's hero power is past a non gold minion for two gold, which is super powerful in duos because, well, you get to pass a minion for two gold less. But when you combine that with the body itself, which is Mr. Chu, once per turn after you pass a minion, get a playing copy of it, you can just generate powerful minions really cheap and give them to your friend if you want to. The golden versions of Mr. Chu, you get two playing copies. This makes Madame Goya almost seem a bit broken, especially if you're playing super powerful builds in duos, for example, Naga. You can just pass deep blue crooners, Cesty shakers, shell elementals, and all of a sudden your duo partner has the best possible Naga build there is. Unfortunately, you can't pass bodies, but you don't really need to. Check out this incredible Madame Goya match I had with one of my viewers. I play with my viewers all the time, so if you want to play with me, just join my Discord. You can find the Discord link on my description of this video. Just pop onto my stream and we might play together, and also you might end up on one of these videos. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification, but you can notify when I upload new videos and also when I go live here on YouTube playing Season 7 Battlegrounds. And as always, have a good one. See you guys on the next one. I'm thinking out loud what I'm gonna do. It's, it's good to hear, man. Great Oof. Always the way. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's a tie. Does Madame Goya's body work also with the hero bar? Of course it does, right? Don't take That's it too hard. Hey, Level dirty. by triple. Now that was a fine move. Excuse me. That one might not be the best, but they'll be loyal. Mm. Bristling buffoon, maybe. Yeah, I'll take that. You ain't troubling me. Then I sell this, pass you this. Oh, nice. Which one? That, I mean, every single minion you have on They're there is good. like really good. Tiana. <laughs> um. That was exactly the play I would have done. Can't you pass spellcrafts? Uh, no, with, not with the hero power. Pass an uncle and minion. I tried You're like that. Bad. I didn't know. I learned it like two turns ago that I can't do that. <laughs> okay, you take care of the first one. And the second one probably. No. And the second one? <laughs> Almost. I'm supposed to kill something. Yay, I got one block chunk. Value. That's pretty cool. I can play Mr. Chu. No, I can't. And pass. Just out of, outside of reach. Oh, that was quite the showdown. What do you need? You don't know. You, you want my my body? Mm, yeah. Uh, does once per turn after you pass a minion, so it's me passing the minion. Yeah. Send it to me so I can pass it to you next turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the play. So then we both get it. Should I level? The of course I should. Lingers. I should always level. You've it. Then I can send you... Mm, this for stats. Radical dude. So, I play Mr. Chu. I use my hero power to send you the Evercream Botani back. Then I'll get a copy and you should get a copy. Of it, right? right? It makes sense to me. On paper, that sounds exactly the way it should work, but I have never done this. I hate Madame Goya. So it's good that I'm playing it. a lot of damage. Oh, they have Vulcan and Taraxus. 
Ooh. So now I oh, that was quite the showdown. Do, okay, do you want your body back or do you want the deep blue crooner? Uh I'll take a crooner for now. Crooner. Yeah, yeah, because I can I can send you another one next time, so you get triple. So now I use this to send that. And I get one. Oh nice. It does work like that. Oh, that's nice. Uh, all right, so I can triple your crew in the next turn. When you get Sesti, we'll do the same thing. If you're going Naga. You're kind of looking like a Naga uh, player. It's looking like a Naga, yeah. I'm not too familiar with the old Naga players, but... Ah, you just buff the lobby and... buy Shell Elemental, the tier 5 Naga that has the Spellcraft, choose a minion in the tavern and give its stats to a random friendly minion. It's kind of easy. I've just played my first duo, how did it go? The first one is always the most interesting because all of a sudden you have a lot more time but all of a sudden you lose all, all of your health because like enemies just steal more damage. It's a double-edged sword like you have more time but if you take too much time you'll just get wrecked. I won, nice. Did you play alone? You didn't have a duo? Ooh. It's okay. You can never ever hit the trickster until the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still win, though. No, my teammate was good. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I know the feeling. All of my teammates are always better than me, so I get carried. None of what you need. So I'll send you another crooner now. You want a level? We're, we're tripling into a five. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, five is perfect for you. There you go. Singing the deep blues. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah. There you go. My boy. <laughs> My boy. Do you know where, where that's from? No, actually, I have no idea. No. <laughs> it's It's... Uh, Legend of Zelda. It's the Sega CD Legend of Zelda game. Meh boy. It's it's a complete fucking meme. I can play that, I can play this, I don't want another that. It's okay, no, that was so fine. To be fair, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I see Divine Shield, I make a big Divine Shield boy. Ooh. I mean, I, uh, my body is five. Yeah, yeah, you can send it to me. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you send it now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I throw away this guy. You get that one. And play that. So now you're looking for Sesti, right? Yep. Oh, you're gonna run out of time. What did you buff? Oh, big eater. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad to happen. We just find the tavern tier 6 spell. Oh, yeah, because passenger is also. Odd tier. Yeah, yeah. Moon Eater is actually really nice. First one done. I can send you another deep blue if you want. It seems good. Just a second. <laughs> Time for odd again. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it's the only thing I play nowadays. It's odd feels. Ah, uh, Cest. Deep blue crooners coming. Uh, unless you find a Cest. Should I wait for that first? Because you're kind of looking for Cestis. I have to point out? No. 
testing. Don't buy that. You saw the greed <laughs> and you immediately put it down. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you hovering over it and I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Mm. Oh boy. No worries, no worries. We have 60 seconds, so. Bottle? Fuck, I lost my ear again. You have two rerolls. Yeah, yeah, it's the only thing you need. Uh, you need to buy now, right? Yeah, I should probably you should probably buy this, right? Here's the man shield. Yeah. Uh, those doggies won't exactly. themselves. I'll send you another one of these. In the meanwhile, while we wait. Oh. I didn't even re remember we were I was playing Moon Eater. I find another deep blue crooner. I can send you that one. This doesn't send golden, but yeah, yeah, non golden ones. Man, pruning everywhere. You're on the right path. Ah, oh, shit, I need to go tier 5 because, like, now that I'm sitting on tier 4. I'm getting tf force force from the body. I'm only good on solos. I mean, if you get really good on solos, like that's gonna transition to duos really easily, or at least it should. Yeah, yeah that's a easy easy W. Oh, they are small. Fine. I don't even need to play. Oh, this is fun. Madame Goya is all of a sudden really good, apparently. Really, really gone up on your tier list. Mm hmm. Ah, okay, then I must play more duo. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yes. Okay, we're looking for Cesty again. Oh. Be gone. So now I can do what this, right? And you get two of them. No, I get two of them. You want a triple? Get this uh, thing no faster. Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> More shell elementals. Sing in the deep blue. Uh, you got a Murloc? Nope. nope. They are all quite shit. I mean, Leroy is always good for late game. Yeah. We'll keep you in our back pocket. Yeah. Should I freeze for the deep blue? <laughs> I mean, I get, I can get my own triple here. Freeze! This is a stick up. You st still haven't found Cesty. No. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Pick eater. No. Oh, Bayrix. Uh, <laughs> yes, ST is the only thing you need. Then you're like, you win the game. And Leroy's gonna trigger. Twice. Max value. Okay, I survived. Oh, wow. Good thing they're like top heavy, so they put all their eggs in one basket. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're sitting up quite nicely, and your Phaerix has like almost a hundred hundred, so. 
if I go, if I want to go full odd, I should probably send you Moon Eater, but I'm Boy, not gonna do that they right. Sure won't want to be messing with the likes of you again. Let's see if you find Sesti. We have. Don't. It's so cheap. Nope. I mean, you can. That was actually something you could have bought because we we're playing against the ghost, so. But I was with the X2 hasty, so. Uh, I think I'll triple that. That was a mistake. Yeah, send it back. Send it back? Yeah. I can give you give you a triple next turn. Sorry, that was my, my fault. Foolish me. Yeah, that was a bit of a blunder for me. Do I want the Moon Eater's champion? I mean, it's still like, it does something. Yeah, I can triple your Shell Elemental next turn. I think we're gonna try and get you two Shell Elementals. That's gonna be the play, probably. I mean, you have fucking double Phyrex. Look at the stats. You're on the right path. Still no Sesti Shakers found. Oh, there's a Sesti. Imagine if we had Hess, we would get it. The game would be over. I mean, it's kind of over already, probably. You scale so much faster than any of, any of our opponents, so... So yeah, uh, you're gonna get one first of the shell elementals. You play that on board, and then I'll send you the triple. Well, they sure won't wanna be Otherwise, it's gonna get fucked. So I played on my board. I'll send you one first. You play it on board, and then I'll send you the triple. Okay, I, apparently I'm not selling, sending you the triple. Oh, there you go. And now we find try and find Sesti again. Quick on the draw. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Doesn't exist. No, apparently not. I once took down a whole gang myself. It too is a gang, right? Brad? Uh, you Brad? Why not? Uh, but I don't. I don't send send it to me now because you can. You, you can refresh once. And sell the brand instead. Like you. Oh, you didn't find anything. Maybe buy this. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. After you buff it, of course. Mm. I should probably sell this. We got a few refreshes. This is a dead end. You sure are nope. quick on the draw. You sure ah, are no. quick on the draw. Oh, that's fun. Buff that one. Mm. I can again send you another shell elemental triple. Another one? Yeah. So. With my hero power. I'll send you one and then I have two in my hand so I can send you, you them. Rich gold vein there. Don't lose it. Yeah, you're gonna outscale them so fast. Even I kind of already outscaled them somewhat. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm probably getting rid of the passenger. It's kind of useless. Even though it's gaining stats, but I have my own deep blue Kuna bush to throw so. And unfortunate that that transmuted crumble which hit on me and not you. <laughs> Yeah, this guy doesn't have a chance against you. I would just squeeze it if I were there. Why is your favorite 6-6? Six, six? Oh. It was big last turn because it was the one that buffed him to have him. Uh, I'll send you oh, Shellamentals one at a time. Again, so you can get all of the spells. So this is useless. This small Phyrex is pointless. Now you play the first Shellamental. Then you play the second Shellamental, so you get both spells. If I buy this one? I, you can triple it if you want to. Then you have board space. Oh, you can send... Oh, you, I can just send you one. Oh, ah, oh, shit, don't take it. Yeah, no, that's bad. Yeah, send me... You can send me this one. You sure are quick on the draw. Ah, uh, now I'll send you the triple. Always good to have backup. Yeah. Always good to have backup. You sure are quick on the Zero says the shakers found. Crasher, you can send. You can send. Ah, uh, oh, you don't have the money. I can't buy if I do that. What a coin! God damn, do you have a lot of spells in hand? Oh yeah, if that's what's free. The gold. <laughs> Don't spend it all at once. That's fine. It's got a poking. That's insane. They have to transmute it probably. Oh, they don't. Okay. That's, that's a bit of a mistake. I think they got rid of it. Yeah, I think we won. No, because we're on tier 4. There's a chance that we didn't win. I have another Shellamental triple for you, right? Yeah. Twenty-four. Do I? No, I don't. Well, they this sure time. won't want to be messing with the Let's likes see. of you again. Sesti would be nice. Finally. I don't even know if it, it's worth it worth it anymore. I'll just refresh and trying to find it. It's a passion project at this point. Yeah, <laughs> at this point this is more Oh my god. Nothing. I'll wait if you find it. Yeah, you can take three damage, that doesn't make a difference. Did our opponent buy all of them? Nope. Oh, there you go. You can you can uh, se spend all the spells on it. Yeah, yeah. And then you send it to me with all the spells. Of course, you use your shell outs first. Buying it. Is that one of these? It gives a shit. So I'll sell this fuckface. Play it on board. Can I send my spell craft spell for you? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, that was a bit of an oopsie. Okay, I just sold everything I had. 
<laughs> I accidentally stole the fucking body. Hopefully we win this. If, if, so. It would be kind of bad if we did. You, you shouldn't be able to lose this. To be fair. That's a big deep blue Kuno you have there. <laughs> He's living his best. 1220 deep blue Kuno. Yeah, I think we won. It's such a spectacular match. And only 37, 38 gold spent. All oh my god. It took us 13 turns to find. Sesti Shaker. A tier 4 Naga. <laughs> it was worth it though.